Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you five interesting features in Filmora 10 that you don't have in Filmora 9. So hopefully this video is helpful for you, especially for those of you who want to upgrade to the latest version of the software instead of using the current version. There are many interesting features in Filmora 10 that uh, we don't have in Filmora 9. By the way, I just want to uh, show you five most interesting features in my opinion. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10 and the first interesting feature I want to show you is about the motion tracking. So what is motion tracking? It is very simple. If you have a moving point uh, in your video and you want to track, uh, track that point and then you can add a sticker image or any text or stuff like that. Okay, so let me show you how to do that in Filmora 10. Okay, so now we are going to use this clip for example. Uh, let's drag and drop it onto a timeline. Uh, and let's mute the audio first and now we have a clip of uh, my friends uh, standing here in front of a lake and then we can play it very nice right okay and now i want to uh, add a tracking point to uh, to this point on the video so that i can show you the name of the character uh, okay so let's put the playhead at the beginning and then we're going to add a motion tracking uh, to this video. So firstly select the clip on the timeline and then uh, click this button motion tracking and Then we have a tracking point here and we, we can adjust to the head of the character Okay, and then click this button to start tracking Very nice, right? All right, and the next thing we want to add a text title uh, to this video So we're going to select the title first and then we're going to select a basic basic title and now we are going to use this one the default title so I'm just drag and drop it onto the timeline and put it uh, right here for example and uh, I'm going to change the title to her name okay so I'm going to double click at the title and then put it Jenny okay uh, actually I can format the text and increase the size and change the style and add animation or stuff like that uh, here by the way i don't i don't want to to do it right now I'll just show you about the motion tracking feature so the next thing i want to uh, add this tag to the motion uh, tracking point so i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to double click at the clip here on the timeline and then select the menu right here and select the default title okay so now we have a title here and then we want to move it to this area this is Jenny. Of course, she is not Jenny. By the way, it's okay. And here is the motion tracking in Filmora 10. Very nice, right? So that is the first feature in Filmora 10 that you don't have in Filmora 9. And the next feature I want to show you is about the animation keyframe or keyframing in Filmora 10. Uh, previously in Filmora 9, we don't have the keyframing button, so uh, we cannot do any, we cannot add any keyframe for our video. But now in Filmora 10, we are able to add keyframes to our video image and text and also uh, elements or stuff like that. For example, if I want to add a simple title animation to this video uh, using the keyframing uh, feature in Filmora 10, all I need to do is to delete this one, for example. So I'm going to use another title. Just put it here on the timeline. And then I want to create a fade in and fade out effect for my title. Okay, so first thing I want to change the title first. Uh, I'm going to double click at the title and go back to my text and then change it. Okay, block number one, for example and i'm going to click ok and now i want to add a keyframe to this text uh, so first first thing first i want to select the text on the timeline and then uh, click this button keyframing okay so when i click keyframing it will automatically add one keyframe to this text and the next thing at this keyframe i want to reduce the opacity to zero and also the scale if i want by the way i, I don't want to uh, reset the scale so the next thing i want to move my playhead to some uh, some point right here and then increase the opacity to 100% by doing that I have just created the fade in effect for my uh, title let's click OK and review it okay 
because the fading effect is too fast so now i want to to extend the duration of the animation right here so just extend the, the keyframe to the right uh, i'm sorry just move the the second keyframe to the right to create a slower animation effect like this okay so we can do the same for fade out effect for this text so i'm going to put my playhead at this position and i'm going to add another keyframe right here and then i'm going to move my playhead to the end of the title and reduce the opacity to zero and now we have the fade in and fade out effect for my title with simple animation keyframe okay very nice right so that is the second interesting feature in femora 10 that you don't have in femora 9. all right so the next very interesting feature in femora 10 is about the audio ducking for example you have a voiceover here on your video and also you have a background music and you want to lower the background music in your video so in femora 10 you can do it uh, very fast with the audio ducking feature okay let's let me show you uh, okay, so let's click OK to go back to the timeline and let's delete here. Go back to my media. Okay, for example, here I have a clip of me uh, in my blog, so I, I have a voice over here. Uh, let's run and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, and another thing, we want to have a background music under it. Okay, so let's go to my audio and let's select my music. Uh, for example, I can select this one. All right. Okay, and let's press this button to view everything on the timeline. So for example, I want to put my clip here at this position. In Femora 10, if you want to lower the volumes of the background music, it is very easy. All you need to do is to double click at the clip here and then go to audio and you have the option here, ducking. So we can just check this box. It will automatically reduce the volume of the background music. Uh, let's say 50% and if you want to uh, lower more you can just slide this slider to the right uh, like 65 or stuff like that okay so here is the effect for your background music wow Ui, sao vẫn gió nhỉ uh, đi xe 3 tiếng từ Hà Nội đến đây là chỗ này là Mai Châu Hòa Bình it is very nice right so whenever i start talking the music will go down uh, so instead of adding keyframe to this point and this point and then adjust the, the volume of the music uh, with the keyframe we can just enable the audio ducking in Pimura 10 and uh, being mentioned that you can also move the clip along the timeline and it is uh, it still has the audio ducking effect right here okay so that is about the audio ducking and another interesting feature in Femora 10 that I, I think it is very interesting is the silent detection. So previously in Femora 9, you have the silent detection, but it is an add-on, so you have to pay for it. And now you can use it for free. Okay, so let's delete everything on the timeline first. And to show you how the silent detection works, I'm going to use the same clip here. For example, this is a clip of me talking in front of the camera, but sometimes I, I don't speak and uh, sometimes there's some silence uh, in my video between my video so I have to uh, to cut it off so remove that silence and all I have to do is to right click at the video in the media folder and then I'm going to select silent detection for my video okay to open the new windows and now we have a new windows and we have all the default feature here and then we can click start to detect the silence in my video okay so just click on that Okay, so in this video, there are not uh, so many silence in my video, just two part, this part, and also a short portion here uh, with some voice. By the way, if I want to remove this, uh, this one also, I can just uh, select it and then move it to here. So uh, this is silent and this is silent. So let's play it. Uh, yeah. And being mentioned that if you are not happy with uh, what the program does, you can also use this eye button to unhide the silence. Okay, so click on here, you will recover your video part. Okay, so I'm going to click here and finally we want to export it to the timeline. 
click this button and now we have a full clip of me talking in front of the camera without silent right very interesting uh, yeah very nice right so in my opinion i think this uh this silent detection feature is extremely helpful when you have a talking head video like this and sometimes you have silence in your video and you forgot the script and you want to use this feature to remove the silent quickly and uh, it is very useful okay so that is another interesting feature in femora 10 all right, so the last interesting feature in Femora 10 that you don't have in Femora 9 is about the effect tab in Femora 10. So now Wondershare add a huge amount of video effect and transition effect and title templates or stuff like that. Many, many things into the software. So now you can make any kind of video with all this effect, very interesting. Okay, for example, here, if we go to the effect tab here, you have the AR sticker, with add some some interesting and funny thing to your face with a motion tracking edit and also you have the audio effect you can add a big room and echo and phone a small room and lobby and stuff like that to your audio and they have more and more things here by the way you have to be careful when using the effect here because not all of them are free to use uh, all the effect with the pinky diamond button here is not a free one if you want to use this one you have to pay for their film stock subscription okay um, but there are many free stuff and we can check this view option and go to free and we can see a lot of thing here uh, and news and audio effect and AR sticker and also at the recommended folder and if you want to go to the title there are many templates also okay so that, these are five interesting features in Filmora 10 that you don't have in Filmora 9 and hopefully you like the video if you want to download the latest version of the software i will put the link in the description and if you want to purchase the software i also have a special discount coupon code uh, in the description also and thank you very much for watching and if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below goodbye and see you again Pssh.